December of senior year, I had applied to four different colleges. I was still wrestling with all these doubts like, should I go? Where should I go? Will I even be able to afford to go? And I was just praying and seeking like, God, what is it that you want me to do with my life? A lady at my church told me, Molly, everyone's telling you right now, this is going to impact the rest of your life. What are you going to do with the rest of your life? And she said, that's somewhat true. But in reality, you make a new decision for each season of your life that God brings you to. Where you go to college will impact the next four to five years of your life. Then you'll probably make a new decision. So it's okay if you don't know what you want to do for the next 40 years. I realized that it wasn't so much about which door I walked through that God opened, it was about how I walked through that door. Royal Family Kids Camp is a summer camp for children in the foster care system who've been abused, abandoned, or neglected. I was only there for a week, but that was my yes. These are my kids. I had fallen head over heels in love with them and wanted to seek out opportunities to serve more in this way. This led to me wanting to study nonprofit management during college. So I packed my bags and came to Texas with all the optimism in the world. And it was not what I expected. For the entire first semester at Hardin-Simmons University, I struggled with doubting my decision, feeling homesick, being sick, and I went home for Christmas break like, did I make the wrong decision? What should I do? Over Christmas break, the Lord gave me the truth that any decision based on fear is not of Him. I wanted to shrink back in fear, but God was telling me, no, go. Go in my love and go in my protection. And so I came back, and I'm so glad that I did. Exactly one week before I came down to school, my family in the central Indiana community went through a tragedy that has forever changed my heart. When I shared with my friends at HSU what had happened, there was this incredible outpouring of love, prayers, and support. I couldn't believe that God had placed me in a place where I felt so loved and so taken care of after all the doubt that I had experienced. God gave me this home and He gave me these people, and I am so grateful.